Okay, Gil. Uh, Gil is here because uh, he hasn't slept for about 10 years. That's what I have on here. And what does that mean? Uh, insomnia, uh, doesn't go to bed till 1 or to 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, tosses and turn all night too. Um, he says he's reduced his gluten and that helped a little bit, right? But he's still here because he's not sleeping and he has brain fog and a um, whole bunch of other stuff. But Gil, why don't you tell them why you're here? <clears throat> Uh, I'm worried about uh, not sleeping. That's why I'm worried about, and, and I get, I want to get better. Why do you worry about it so much? Well, if I, uh, I might get worse. My, I get up tired. I have uh, pain. And uh, how about brain fog? Memory? How's your memory? Yeah, it's bad. My memory is bad. How many years? Um, yeah, not for eight, uh, ten years. Eight, ten years, right? Mm -hmm. Ring your ears. Ring your ears. Yes, all the time. And then, lastly, how about your anxiety? Uh, it's less right now, but uh, I, I think I have once or twice a week. Gotcha. And we have depression too. He also mm -hmm. feels depressed. He said it once a week before, but it's just visions off too. Left eye is a little blurry compared to his right. Knee problems, hip problem, leg problem, back problem. But all that aside, he only cares about his sleep. If I can get him to have better sleep, he'd be a happy camper, right? Yes. Gotcha. Uh, tell us you also have some back pain in here, some numbness. He has some numbness in his back. Yeah. Um, it all is, it all goes hand in hand with have somebody who has really poor imbalance. Uh, what have you done to treat this in the past? Massage, acupuncture, drugs. Yeah, I, I took um, pills for sleeping. What up, marijuana? Any marijuana too? Try that. Yes, I tried. <laughs> it does, why, why it doesn't help you? No, it doesn't. Help. Why doesn't it help? I'm kind of curious. Everybody thinks it helps. Oh, I get more inside. More anxiety. Yes. Yeah, see, because it doesn't help, guys. You may go to sleep thinking you're sleeping, but it doesn't help. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's see, uh, any other chiropractors? Um, no. No? And why'd you come here? I watched the videos in YouTube and... How long? How many years? Or how many months? I don't know. Four years. Four years! <laughs> Go ahead and bend over, touch your toes, please. Any pain, any tension in your back? How much tension? Yeah. Six. Six. Back like this. How about that? About two. Two. Look at the floor. Nothing there or anything there? No. Look at the ceiling. A little tight. A little tight in the neck. A one, two, one. One. Okay. And uh, go ahead and spread your feet and squat. Don't put your hands on your legs. And come up. He has no pain with that, but I'm doing that because I want to show you how weak his legs are. He was really, really weak and has trouble getting up. Uh, he didn't get say that, but you're going to see a difference uh, after we adjust him, okay? Okay, so his x-rays are really, really awful, okay? Oh, I forgot to mention, he has Bell's palsy too. He doesn't even know he has it. If you see his eye, his eye is droopy over here, not as droopy over here. Try to smile. And so he has trouble smiling over here. It's not a full case of it, but he's had that for how long? How long have you had that droopy eye? Your whole life or... No, about 10 years. About 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, TMJ problem, you can see that in the previous video. Uh, I'll point a lot of the stuff out as x-rays, but his x-rays suck. Um, Atlas is probably three-quarter wear, high reverse curve. I think he had a compression fracture, some kind of broke, he has a broken back in the low back too. I think it's L4, but I'll point that. There's a little chip on there. Like I said, pretty bad. 16 millimeter imbalance, pretty good scoliosis, and right TMJ. Here we have a seven-degree curve and some constipation down there. Here we have three-quarter atlas wear, high reverse curve, and impacted wisdom teeth, pretty bad, and L4 and bone fragment. You can see that down there, and sway back. Now we're going to go a nice, simple adjustment right through the high reverse curve, right at C3, guys. I am not adjusting C1. Um, we keep it really simple, guys. Good. Right there. Okay. 
We're lifting Caesar up here now, and we're going to remind him not to twist and turn. Why? Because the more he twists and turns, the more he'll undo my work. Now we're asking him some questions about how he's feeling, and he's feeling a little lightheaded, but let's listen and see how he's doing. A little dizzy. A little dizzy. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And that's to be expected, like I say in my videos, right? Yes. When you're dizzy, that means I'm making changes to your body to mm -hmm. change your balance, okay? We're going to make this all better by walking. That walking is going to help recalibrate your spine. Look straight ahead, arms down, just take your time. We're going to walk to the door. Okay, we're asking Caesar to get up and walk down the hall. Again, why? Recalibration. The more he walks, the more he's going to spread his neck adjustment through his whole body. Let's see how he's doing. I feel no pain. No pain? No. Gotcha. Did you feel pain before? I don't know. Yeah. A little pain? When I was standing, I feel a little pain in my lower back. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Now go ahead and bend over touch toes first, first for me. That was a six a minute ago. What is that now? About five. About a five. So it's still a five. Go back like this. This was a two a minute ago. No pain. No pain. Look at the floor. And that was uh, different because there was no pain, but you had more range of motion there. Look at the ceiling. How about that? That was a two, I think you said. Yeah, no pain. No pain? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And squat to the ground, please. How was that different? Or was it different? Yeah, I think uh, I can do it. Stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I just wanted to point that out because I love doing what I do and it's so much fun to see this all change. Whether you guys believe it or not, he had more power. It was pretty easy to see. Um, anything else you want to share? First day, first adjustment. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to, but mm -hmm. anything, else, anything else you want to uh, tell us that feels different um, or nothing? No. No? Good. So thank you for doing the video. We're gonna see how he sleeps over the week. We gotta adjust him all week. And so we're also gonna adjust his son, Christian. And uh, hope you guys enjoy that video too. Good, say goodbye. Good, perfect. Okay, day two for daddy here. Slept better last night, right? Yes. Slept better. A um, little less brain fog, as he says. It's connected to my sleep. <laughs> guess what daddy's doing? You want to come help? You want to help? You want to help? Good. How was that? More painful, less painful yesterday than yesterday? Painful. Painful? Yeah. Yeah. And so, um... He said he woke up with some pain this morning. So something he's doing in his sleep is kind of messing with him too. Uh, we got him to sleep better, but his neck is probably sensitive because he didn't ice properly yesterday either. <laughs> ice is gonna help you have less pain. Okay. Good. Um, what do you think of this so far? I'm improving. I am, now I understand. Why are you giving me all the steps? The why? Well, ask. Tell them why. Is, why do you think it's important? I'm kind of curious. What, what? What have you learned in the last couple of days? Why all the steps are so important? Yes. I want to hear it in your words. Uh, because I now I know how to relax when I feel pain. I breathe. I relax my body. And and the pain goes away. Gotcha. And that's the whole point, guys. That's I call that the secret sauce here, is if he can if he can actually repeat what he just said and do it and put words into action and make that action better for him, he will be successful here. And so he's just made a transition to understand how he can help himself and hurt himself. Good. And so how easy is this process so far? For me, it's been a little hard to change the bad habit. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, yeah. It's not easy. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. And so I just got a, I just got a little video in the middle here on Wednesday. I don't usually do it because he looks so freaking good. I thought I'd, I thought I'd put him on camera because he looked really good. But tell us percentage-wise how much better you're sleeping right now. 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%. I'm kind of curious. I haven't even asked him this question yet. I think it's... Uh... 70%. Wow, okay. So anyways, two days in, uh, 10 years of bad crappy sleep, and he's already doing better. So didn't wake up at all last night, or once this morning. Once, just, I don't know 
Why? Probably half, one hour before I woke yeah. up. One. And when's the last time you slept that long? It's been a long time. Been a long time. So, so he iced for the first time properly last night. He also slept really good. He has pain in the morning, so we're gonna take a look at his neck with pictures tomorrow um, to see what's going on. Um, his neck has been very, very tight to adjust. Yesterday, I kind of pushed a little extra for him. Um, so we're gonna see how he does this morning with a little bit more relaxed body. We also taught him eight pans yesterday, which uh, he's having trouble kind of. Um, making it work, but he's only been doing it for about 12 hours. Good. Right there. Okay. Wow. Good. Now I'm going to adjust you in the chair here. And this is going to be a little different place to adjust. It's going to be the lower part of your neck. Mm -hmm. And because uh, you do not like to relax your shoulders, so I'm going to give you the opportunity to do that with this adjustment. And you'll see how it takes the pressure off your shoulders. Let your body drop here. Let it drop here. And let it drop more. Good. You okay? Yeah. That hurt at all? A little bit. A little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to do this side. Good. Okay, relax your shoulders. Relax. Uh, this is the end of a week for you. We just went and uh, did a video before this with your son, Christian. And so um, check that out, guys. Uh, it's his son, his two, month, his two year old son. We took care of him. But we also took care of him this week. And this has been one solid week for you. Um, I was going to say it was a little touch and go, but it wasn't terrible. We pretty much went straight line. But uh, it was hard to teach him some stuff. Um, but I think he's starting to get it. But uh, Gil, why don't you tell us what this week has meant to you? What is, what's going on? Um, sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> Hold <laughs> That's on. That's the thing I worry about. That's what he came for, he's sleeping, right? <laughs> yeah. What does it feel like to get a good night's sleep? Oh, it feels, feels good. Amazing, right? Yeah. And he was 10 years of bad sleep. Yes. Gotcha. And uh, what, are the, what are the results of having good sleep? How do you feel during the day? I wake up rested good rested uh, any less any change in how you how you think and how you see things and how you feel yeah no I I can feel my body light and gotcha and I, I, I feel good yeah, how about uh, brain fog uh, no this this week eh? no 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 brain you feel like you think better too right you can remember better a little better this week yeah gotcha better gotcha mm -hmm. and then um so good uh now what about um uh, anxiety anxiety not not this week it feels less right yes it feels less Good. And again, the reason I ask these questions is not trying, I'm trying to load him up with these questions and tell him what to tell me is because I know that when somebody sleeps better, their brain fog feels better, their anxiety feels better, eventually depression goes away. Um, all these things benefit from better sleep. And all, what have we done to treat you all week? What have we treated? Uh, neck. Just your neck, right? Yes. Gotcha. Okay, uh, how's your neck pain? How, how, how's your neck feel? Uh, good. Very good. How much no. better on a percentage scale? Uh, I think about 70%. Good. How about your low back? My low back, uh, good, I think 80%. And your uh, knees, your knee, your right knee? Knee. Uh, no, I haven't felt this, this week. Gotcha. No pain. Uh, vision, how's your vision? My vision, I think it's better. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Headaches, one to two times a week. Uh, not this week. Not this week either, right? No. Uh, how about dizziness once or twice a week? A little lightheadedness? Dizziness, no. This week, no. No, 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 right? No, gotcha. Really. And then uh, you have ringing in your ears every day. Has that changed at all? Yeah, it changed a little bit. Gotcha. Went, went down. Went down? How yes. much better? 
Uh, 50%. 50%? Gotcha. Now, uh, we were just sitting here out front talking before we came in here to do the video, and he was telling me about how he goes sees other doctors, other medical doctors, and uh, what's the big difference between this and all the other experiences you've had in the past with other doctors, medical doctors, chiropractors, whoever? Mm -hmm. Well, you explain about the, the how to how to see it, how to walk, how to, and to give more more time. More time, more yeah. Because he's been to tons of doctors, and what do they do all all the time? <laughs> Yeah, if I tell them that uh, I feel this, I feel this, oh, just try this, this. drug. Try this. Yeah, exactly. And then we'll see. We'll see. And this is just mid-cervical adjustment. I have not adjusted his atlas all week. I adjusted his mid-cervical and his lower cervical. The other interesting thing this morning is it went a lot, and it was less painful than before. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I threw that. Good. Yeah, you guys can hear the noise, very loud. Um, uh, he's doing better, inflammation is down. Again, it still hurts a little bit, so I'm not saying it's, not, it's completely gone, but it's better than the beginning of the week, and that's the most mm -hmm. important thing.